Hello, hi guys, welcome to the channel. I hope everyone has seen the thumbnail. So you know what I'm going to share about. So today I'm going to share the complete detail on the interview process on the journey that I have gone through uh, with the Databricks. So recently I have given an interview to the Databricks for the position of senior uh, staff data engineer. And uh, I can explain you the complete details in this video. So please watch till the end to the video. So the interview has totally uh, seven rounds they have conducted to me. So out of the uh, seven rounds, I think five are the main rounds and two are like uh, uh, regular rounds or that you don't need to prepare anything. So uh, coming to the first round of the interview, it's a kind of an introduction role where uh, they have scheduled a call with a, a project manager uh, where uh, he connected and uh, we be given the intro about uh, ourselves and he also given the intro and uh, how long that he been and all the other details and he explained a bit about the role and the expectations of the day-to-day uh, -day work and uh, other stuff and about the team about the team and what the work that they are doing in their day-to-day -day life and all the details that he has shared and he asked me about my projects my uh, details and my past experience and uh, uh, my uh, strengths weakness also all about this and also he asked the major question uh, like uh, I'm really interested to that position or not. So, so based on it, he might take a call. So I expressed my uh, gratitude and interest towards the position. So that's how it went, and uh, it's it just like a short call. So after that, after two days, I got a call from the HR again that, and I got a green signal to proceed ahead with the another interview process. So the very next round that they have scheduled in another uh, two day or uh, two two days. Yeah, it's in another two days. So uh, that is about the technical round, first one. So in the technical first, so they asked me about the details about the, my uh, project and my previous experience. So what are all the organizations that you have worked? So they asked me about all the uh, details and what are all the clients and the industries that I have uh, worked on uh, and all other uh, my details. And, uh, and uh, they went into the details too in my projects, like I, how I have tackled certain issues and how we moved to the production and what are the issues that we faced in the production and how we were tackled uh, so all those things that he uh, expected me to answer so we answered all those things at end of the uh, session so he given me one uh, DSA question so I cannot say it's a DSA question it's a simple programming uh, question so I, I was able to solve that one so along with that along with this uh, solution he expected me to uh, give the complexities like time complexity and space complexities uh, as well so if you are giving or if you are planning to view for an interview with the product based company so try to prepare uh, uh, some basic level of the DSA it's not like you know need to go into the big uh, dig too much details and you want you need not to be expert in that uh, DSA uh, process but uh, you, you just have an idea at least like uh, how we can able to solve uh, I hope like if you are working in a um, uh, data engineer so mostly we work with the spark and the programming languages so if you have that idea on the programming language uh, uh, programming language so that will be enough I guess so coming to me I'm also not an expert on the DSC, DSSI uh, but still I was able to uh, solve that one so that's how the interview process so after the two days i got a call again from the hr saying that i was uh, cleared the round so they got a green signal to go ahead with my profile so now uh, the technical uh, second round so the second technical so in the second technical they asked me about my profile my past experience my projects and what are the challenges that i have faced in my uh, previous role and how i how i were able to tackle and he asked he chose like why you choose this uh you know solution over that solution why can't you choose this one that uh on the, those type of questions were uh majority of the questions now this time he went a bit uh you know dig, he dig more uh deeper inside the uh project like uh, what are what are the things that you have worked done and really how you implemented it and if uh and they also they asked me about the architectures like how uh the project of the architecture and what is happening and each and every uh uh, side of the story and he asked me so many cross questions inside your uh, projects and uh, so you should be uh, careful with that so you should prepare your uh, projects and your past experience and what are the challenges uh, if you if you can able to recall your challenges and your uh, solutions that you have implemented earlier so th that's good so that helped me to uh, crack this sound okay uh, that's how it went
So the next thing is the uh, case study round uh, that is about the technical three. So as part of the case study uh, three, so they given me one uh, uh, complete notebook uh, and with the complete notebook with the all list of questions. So the liberty for this one is we you can Google or you can charge GPT whatever, uh, whatever whatever you want you can do it, but you can't copy the uh, same code uh, from online tools to the notebook. So. Uh, that is only the condition but you have to write your own code uh, so that's how we need to uh, that's how we need to solve that uh, notebook so they given me uh, one day of time to uh, complete that one but if if you are you uh, know uh, if you are interested like uh, if you are interested and if you are end of the uh, notebook to solve all the questions like they can extend you under uh, under that one uh, four five hours not a uh, big deal in it so though it was a uh, it was a case study round and uh, you, you you get an option to uh option to google and all those things those are not that much easy you need to put so much effort to solve that problem and they expected you to uh, solve the with the complete uh, solution so you need to take care of all the all of your uh, data means data cleaning the quality so all those things were involved i believe that is really a uh, challenging one so a one should uh, try with that one so though it is a google uh, google alert uh no uh round but still you need to put your effort to cut that one okay so once i submitted that uh round uh so i have waited almost four to five days so both that i got a call from hr that they are going to schedule an interview with the project manager uh next round is uh pm uh that is the behavioral interview so mostly he asked the questions again about my uh, previous companies, industries that I work, project I have worked, and what are the challenges that I have faced, and what are the solutions that I have given, and uh, he uh, given me some situation-based questions uh, that is in the Spark or even uh, data digs, data warehouses, even in data modelings. So he given some situational-based uh, questions like uh, how you uh, handle those scenario-based kind of uh, questions. So and also uh, he ask me more questions on the streaming side especially on the production environment like how you can handle the you know uh, production systems and uh, if anything failure if it is a critical job and business is waiting so how you can resolve it and uh, how quickly that you can able to uh, resolve that issue and uh, run the pipeline and how you optimization so all other areas so yeah of course in even even in previous runs also they ask some questions on the performance tunings and uh, data lakes, data uh, warehouses, and uh, delta lakes, icebergs, and other stuff. But in this round, he focused more on the situational uh, based questions. Uh, so, if you have some proper idea for the production environment, how it really works, uh, the production environment, then you can able to answer. Uh, otherwise, you need uh, you need some you know some use cases that you need to prepare to crack this word. Okay, and also he given uh, some of the. Uh, questions on the modeling side like he given the use cases like uh, you know so how you can model the uh, system and uh, of course he, he didn't ask me to uh, draw the diagram and expert uh, externally but he expected me to uh, solve an answer like how we can uh, solve an answer so mostly in this kind of a question so you can uh, take a step-by-step -step process approach so that can help you uh, a lot actually so for the situation based questions i hope everyone knows that you should use uh, uh, star based uh, uh, method and uh, most importantly highlight your uh, measurements like how how you measure the success like suppose uh, i was able to complete the job in 15 minutes or 5 minutes or uh, those kind of uh, conclusions that you have to uh, give okay so the, the that's about that round and uh, yeah uh, so after two days of that round so i got a call from the hr so again uh, proceed with the interview process so then again uh, it's a kind of a uh, HR interview but that's a basically very simple interview it's uh, just like 20 minutes so that they asked about the uh, level questions like what is my expectations and other uh, stuff on the job role and uh, other details and uh, they asked me like is there any questions that I have it so I just asked about the what is the theme that I'm going to work and other details so for that they said they are going to have another interview so where the I can get all this to kind of a details okay so on the very next two days they have scheduled this call and uh, it's also kind of a he's also kind of a project manager and he's leading a, a team in the databricks so he's 
he, he has uh, no, uh, given all the inputs to me which I'm looking for and also again he asked some of the questions about the uh, uh, that is uh, real time questions that what they are going to face in the uh, team on the uh, day to day basis like you know like how we can reduce the past and how can you improve the performance of the job and uh, uh, how uh, you really handle the production system and how you can onset at uh, how you can you know deliver the results in an expected uh, time so those kind of uh, questions mostly he asked and he he delivered and uh, after that I have uh, some of the questions related to uh, the project and the expectations roles and uh, all other uh, ideas as well so yeah what are the typical issues that they are facing out and yeah we have taken one use case where they are also facing the similar uh, kind of issues with their uh, pipelines. So I, I was also facing the similar issue. So we were discussed a bit on it. So I explained the process and the step that how we have uh, handled in our organization. So the, the same step, but also he also uh, agreed at some points. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, the process and the methods will vary from company to company, how the things will work out. But Coming to the 10 different solutions, so mostly we can we have a multiple solutions for one problem, right? Right. Uh, so that's all the thing. So overall, when it comes to the conclusion, like if you are doing for an interview, uh, either you can apply via LinkedIn or the uh, NHR portal or any reference as well. You can you you can give a try with the uh, these companies for any kind of companies, and uh, I highlight uh, everyone to go through at least basic level of for DSA. That is enough. So don't go much deeper inside it. And uh, basic stuff like list, tuple, or dictionaries, and uh, basics, and uh, you no know, linkulets, stack, queues. That's fine. If you have a time, you can even go with the trees, and uh, you can try to uh, solve the famous question, very very famous uh, uh, questions. So if you can, uh, you know, Google it, or you can, uh, you can Google it, and so you can get a very uh, famous questions that were uh, listed. So if you can able to solve that famous question you will be able to uh, that that will be good enough for them or data engineer to go and turn it and uh, next you have some uh, thorough uh, idea about the, what is the ETL process and ELD, ETL and data lakes, delta lakes and uh, you know uh, lambda kappa architectures and data warehouses, data, uh, data lakes and uh, these areas also should be good and you should be good understanding about the Spark should have frameworks and uh, you know the other uh, other uh, areas of the architectures like yarn hdfs name known data node so uh, this kind of also you should be having a good idea and also you should have an idea about the kafka when it comes to the streamings uh no real-time streaming so coming to these related questions so i have already posted uh the uh, the questions that are related uh to the questions that i have faced in the databricks interview in my previous uh interview uh, series uh, videos so if you can follow all my uh, previous series you can able to answer most of the questions that were asked in the databricks databricks interview so i try to follow it and uh, and uh, generate uh, answers of course i though those answers are lengthy but if you can able to remember at least some points out of it it will be uh, good enough yeah that is the process that i have gone through uh, guys if you feel the content was uh, interested so please give it a like and uh, if you have any doubts please add a comment and uh, if anybody are interested or you know are giving interviews to the product based companies better uh, share this video to them so this might helpful to them okay thank you Bye -bye.